Imagine starting your day like any other, expecting nothing out of the ordinary, when one routine traffic stop turns your entire world upside down. That's exactly what happened to State Trooper Michael Patterson, and his life would never be the same. Michael Patterson began his day expecting nothing unusual. As a state trooper, his duty was to ensure the safety of the streets and highways. Most of his time was spent pulling over drivers who broke traffic laws, with each stop following a familiar routine, spot the violation, pull the car over, and issue a ticket. It was all fairly predictable. But while patrolling the Kingwood Township Highway on a beautiful summer day in early June, something caught his attention. A sleek, white BMW cruised by, not speeding or driving recklessly, but its windows were tinted far beyond the legal limit. Michael wondered how the driver could even see through them. Although tinted windows aren't usually a major issue, these were so dark that they pose a real safety risk. Knowing he had to ensure the safety of the driver and others on the road, Michael sprang into action. Flashing his lights, he pulled the BMW over and approached the car. Michael, known for his friendly demeanor even during traffic stops, greeted the driver warmly as the BMW's window rolled down. They began to chat, and what started as a routine stop quickly turned into an unexpected encounter. Through their conversation, both men uncovered surprising details about each other. What they discovered would change their lives forever. When Michael pulled the man over, the driver admitted he was pretty embarrassed. He knew he wasn't speeding or doing anything reckless, so when he heard it was because of his window tint, he realized he was in the wrong. Here's the kicker, you'll be stunned to find out why he should have known better. Brace yourself for the jaw-dropping revelation. The man used to be a cop himself. For 30 years, the driver had proudly served, always following the rules. Now retired, he had no idea that this small infraction would bring back memories of his career. The driver, Matthew Bailey, never loved how the tent looked on his BMW and didn't think it was too dark. But when he found out it was illegal, he wasn't about to argue. He planned to get it fixed and move on, thinking it was a minor issue. As Michael and Matthew continued talking, the conversation took an unexpected turn when Michael learned that Matthew was a former cop. Their conversation flowed effortlessly. They bonded over shared experiences, and it quickly became clear this wasn't just any traffic stop. In just a few minutes, they connected on a level Michael had never experienced before. This chance encounter turned into one of the most important conversations of his life. Their interaction was all recorded on Michael's body cam and his vehicle's cameras. Later, he was grateful to have a record of what turned out to be a once-in-a-lifetime encounter. The two men chatted for several minutes and Michael learned all about Matthew. What should have been a quick traffic stop kept getting longer and longer. Michael was shocked to hear that Matthew was a police officer from a town about 40 miles away. As Matthew began explaining his service, Michael realized they had something in common. The surprise grew when Michael discovered that Matthew was from Piscat, the town where Michael was born, and where his mother still lived. As they continued talking, Michael felt a strange connection. He knew a few cops from that town, but wasn't sure if Matthew was one of them. Then, a memory struck him. Michael had once been saved by a cop 26 years ago, in a bizarre event he had never shared with anyone. When Matthew found out that Michael was born in Pisgat in 1991, he asked for more details. Michael revealed that his birthday was October 5, 1991. Matthew's eyes widened. He asked which street Michael had grown up on. When Michael replied, Poke Place, Matthew's suspicions were confirmed. Matthew vividly remembered Poke Place. It was a tiny dead-end street where, as a rookie officer, he had answered a call on October 5, 1991. A pregnant woman named Karen needed help, and Matthew, young and with only four years of experience, rushed to the scene. Karen's labor was far from typical. She had no time to get to the hospital. The baby was coming fast. When Matthew arrived, there was no time to waste. Minutes later, Officer Bailey was delivering a newborn baby. It was an unusual day at work, to say the least. Despite his lack of medical training, Matthew stayed calm, guided by Karen's doctor over the phone. The baby, Michael, was born safely with Matthew's help. He even untangled the umbilical cord from around Michael's neck before handing him to his relief parents. 
For Michael, meeting the officer who had delivered him as a newborn was an utterly surreal experience. It's rare for a baby to be born at home with a police officer's help, making this encounter all the more remarkable. Most officers never face such a situation in their entire careers, yet Matthew vividly remembered that day nearly 30 years later. As they continued to talk, both men realized just how fortunate they were to have crossed paths again. Time seemed to fly, and eventually, Michael had to return to his duties. Parting was bittersweet, but Michael left feeling deeply grateful for the unforgettable experience with Matthew, an encounter that would stay with him for the rest of his life. What do you think of this story? Let us know in the comments section. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with you loved ones. Also subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.